I think we are making a concerted effort to differentiate in our classrooms, but we really want to ensure that every student is getting quality instruction. I came up with this idea because in most classrooms, we only have one teacher, and that makes this really difficult. We want to be able to take quality instruction and duplicate it for every student while meeting their individual learning needs. Differentiation by duplication allows every student to get their instruction that they need from a highly skilled instructor at their own level of proficiency. The use of videos also extends well beyond the differentiated class period, as students who are absent can access them, as well as students who would like to revisit the lesson while they are doing homework or reviewing for a test. So the first step is that we set up an active oak quiz and the students use their handheld remotes to answer the questions and from this we can collect the data and then using this with the bell works, with the um, tickets out, with any quizzes that we have, we can then set up groups based on which skills each individual student needs to work on. The active oak quizzes can be brought out into an Excel spreadsheet that is very easy to dig into. Um, instead of just asking one or two questions about a topic, I can ask it a number of times and then I can see a trend if the student just happened to guess it luckily because it's all multiple choice on the active oak quizzes or if they actually know what they're talking about or not. And from that then I can put them into the best group, uh, the best use of their time, and the best particular skills that they need to work on. Uh, when students arrive, they are handed a slip of paper that tells them which group they are in and has the bell work on it. They do the work, they can just turn in that slip then afterwards for the bell work, and then they just get right to work. Uh, the students on the computer are given the web address so they can put that in and go to the website. They have headphones so that the noise won't disrupt the others. One thing I like is that the students don't always end up in the same location, so a low student isn't always going to be working with me individually in the corner. They may work on the computer instead. So the computer is not always the high level or the low level. It keeps switching based on what's the most beneficial to use that particular resource where they can pause it when they need to pause it. We've been doing these lessons in math and I really like them because they can help us with our homework and that we can um, learn from different things what Mr. Wetton teaches us and that um, he's been doing these group things with the computers and working with him and I like working with him because he can tell, he can um, give us the right answer and he can show us if we got it wrong or right. So what was nice about this lesson that you just saw is that the high students were working on simultaneous linear equations with word problems, but those students that didn't have the prerequisite skills and weren't ready to tackle analyzing a word problem had the exact same equations and numbers, but they just had it with the variables. And then the students who weren't even ready to get to that point, we had working with myself and Ms. Serzak, and we were working on just how we solve an equation and just the mechanics that were needed to solve these problems. I like it because like it helps us develop our skills in math when some student doesn't like get it. And like I like it when the most part of it I like when he works in groups with us and tells us and breaks it down to us. So like it'll be better for us to get it and better for students. I also like when he works at the belt board because when he works at the board, it helps to like it helps to kinda of write it down, go through he goes through the steps with us. One other thing that I really like about this is that it can be reused. So yes, it is a lot of time that's being put in right now, but these videos will be there then. And not only can I give them to the students that are absent or give them to students who want to study for the test, but I can use them again next year and then keep adding to this library that I, of resources that I can use. I think math is perfect for this kind of setup. In the prior lesson we were doing geometry, so we had one group that was working on just understanding how to do the area and circumference of a circle. We had another group that had moved it up and were doing composite shapes with area and perimeter. And then we had another group that was moving it even further forward and doing three-dimensional volume surface area. So I, I think it's perfect with a lot of these math topics that it's so easy to break them down into different groups. But you can also just have it on the skills. You are graphing lines and you need one group to work on slope, you need one group to work on uh, y-intercept, making the equations, actually graphing, seeing where they cross. It's just a wonderful option to have inside the classroom. I am really amazed after trying this how engaged the students are. There are students that I had so much trouble reaching in the regular classroom setting that I saw sitting down and really digging into the material and getting to work. Um, they really enjoy working with myself individually when we have the small groups. They really like being able to follow along and take the notes. 
Um, I think that's because it can't be paused, it can't be disrupted, they just have to follow along and keep going along with the lesson. They really like being on the computers where they can pause it, go back, repeat, skip something that they don't need to hear again. So they have a lot of control in that way. It's really nice to see those students getting engaged in ways that we haven't seen them before. The technology in our schools is a wealth of untapped potential and we can use it to think outside the box and find new ways to meet our students' learning needs. As teachers, we can't be everywhere at once, but we can sure try.